Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the new save file. We are jumping in once again and this time we are going to play as the Punished and we're going to go hard mode. I actually feel like playing a modded character this time around. Um, Punished is pretty fun and I can't remember, have we done a Punished normal run? I know we did a Greed run, but I, I don't remember if we've done a normal run on this save file yet. Um, and he is, he is quite a lot of fun, so I definitely want to give it a go. Um, yeah, let's see if I have or not, once the game actually decides to load. Here we go. Let's see, have we? No, we've only done greed mode. So, first things first, let's just quickly pause and get a question of the day ready. Okay, we are good to go. Using chat GT GPT again. I very much enjoy this idea of getting my questions of the day from there. It helps a lot. Um, but yeah, for this one, what's, um, what's the most interesting place you visited and why? I've probably asked something similar before, but it's definitely been a while. Dude, come on now. These guys placing their fire everywhere. Hopefully we can get some interesting synergies with this guy this time around. Because uh, we've not been getting like great tier synergies with this guy. He has some really interesting ones. Um, that's actually potentially pretty interesting. Being able to generate blue flies and them uh, exploding into gas clouds is pretty nice. Yeah, we'll see what we can do here. Um, for me, it's it's difficult to say. Uh, I, I've, I've been to quite a few different places. Oh, God. Yeah, I was kind of bound to take damage there. Um... I've been to quite a few different places. I've been to Egypt a few times uh, when I was younger. I really enjoyed Egypt. Although I didn't do anything like seeing the pyramids or anything like that. I think I was just a bit too young at the time. So my parents thought it would be a bit of a, a long trip for a, for a kid. Um, so I didn't end up going to see the pyramids or anything. Which is a bit of a shame. But at the same time, like, does it sound bad that I'm not that interested? <laughs> like, I realise they're, like, impressive. But at the end of the day, they're just a lot of rocks. It's like... I, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not really the sort of person that's, like, big into, like, seeing a majestical view and that lot. Like, it's, like, one of the big things, like, going to America to see the Grand Canyon. It's, like, I mean, I wouldn't say no, but it's just a big hole in the ground. Like, it's, it's an interesting hole, albeit. It's certainly an interesting one and, and how it was formed and everything. It's, it's pretty interesting, but it's, like... Like, a beautiful view doesn't do much for me, I'll be honest. I know a lot of people will, like, drive miles and pay so much money to go see these really crazy views and stuff, but it's never been something that I've found particularly, like... I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's not interesting, but it's just not something I'd be willing to put as much effort into as some other people are willing to put eff uh, as much effort into to get the visit. Oh my lord, this is bad. We do have three cracks now, which is nice. Having three at once makes it a little easier. The damage we can output is already pretty spicy. We're going to have to go Angel Deal here. Was this an XL floor? It most certainly was. Okay, I should probably go back and uh, go back and check this out. But yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd also like to know, just in terms of Isaac, what you guys are thinking about like the series at the minute. Because basically, just because... I do this every few months. I, I, I like look at my views and I'm like, oh no, they're going down a bit. Even though it's kind of makes sense that they're going down a bit because the game has been out fucking forever. Um, is there anything particular you guys want to see more? I've definitely noticed that... Um, ooh, D12. I've definitely noticed that modded characters seem to get better views. Do you guys want to see more modded characters more often? Um, are you guys still enjoying the new save file? Or would you rather me mix in some full save file runs as well? Um, it'd just be interesting to know, um, what sort of the consensus there is, um, I need to use Liberation a little more as well, I've not really been using it. Honestly, this is kind of terrible, the cracks are in really bad spots. Ah, for fuck's sake. Let's use Liberation here to, uh, get some stuff going. I need to be using it way more often, to be honest. Yeah, I'd just be interested to know, like, sort of, what, what are the thumbnails that really get you clicking? Because, um... Yeah, especially the tarnished characters seem to do really well view-wise. And then, like, some of the vanilla characters, not so much. But we've been kind of been needing to do vanilla characters for unlocks. Uh, to unlock tarnished characters and stuff. But then, at the same time, I'm kind of, like, on the side of, well... If people just aren't watching the vanilla characters as much, should I even be doing a new save file still? I don't know. I'm just interested to hear what you guys think about where... Dude, these enemies are so fucking annoying for, for this character. They just spread fire fucking everywhere. It's too much, man. It's too much. Um, Yeah, just be interested to know sort of what you want to see more often. Because, yeah, I, I feel like 
It's difficult. I, I, I like the idea of the new save file. I'm still very much enjoying going for unlocks. It certainly gives more purpose to the series, but I understand from the other side, it gives us less opportunity to play uh, a, a wider variety of characters, um, and it also gives us less opportunity to play modded characters more often. So maybe people would like to see me go back to the regular save file for a little bit and... Um, and just do some stuff there. Um, I don't think that's really going to help us much, but I'll, I'll take it. Um, yeah, it's 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 like I said, it's just kind of a difficult one, really. Because, um, like, one thing I could try doing is like doing modded character win streaks on the on the full save file or something along those lines, where we try and get as many wins as we can with exclusively modded characters and try and build up a win streak. I haven't done a win streak in a really long time, and I do thoroughly enjoy win streaking. Um, it's, it's definitely a lot harder with modded, because, like, Fiend Folia makes the game harder, but on top of that, um, there's a lot more wacky items that can cause a lot of problems, and I always take them because I like the wacky items. It's, it, it's just generally sort of a big point of contention for myself. I'm always sort of in an, in an internal debate of what to do with my channel, I'll be honest. Because... Um, Obviously, I, I, I want to keep Daily Isaac going because, for one, I'm still enjoying it. I'll keep doing it for as long as I still enjoy it. Um, but also, there's there's plenty of people still watching it, although it may not be as much as before. There's still a lot of you tuning in on the daily to watch Isaac, and I, I really enjoy that, especially those of you that comment on the regular as well. It's always interesting to read. Also, it did work. My little linger bean shot thing there. Look, cool. I'm glad to see. Um, glad to see that works. Don't know how often that's going to proc. Oh, there's like tears when it hits as well. You see that? It's like little lingering tears too. Oh, this this is going to be a rather wacky one. Oh, God. I'm definitely quite low on health now. Not a big fan of that. Okay. Okay, but yeah, it's, it's, it's always a struggle, really. Um, and like, as well, like... Is there any new series that people really want to see at the moment? I, I don't really have anything in mind. I've seen that Alexa's been playing Brutal Orchestra, and that's been, like, doing really well for him. It's not really a game I've considered before, but there's, there's, there's just a lot of games that could potentially be very interesting to try out on the channel to do as more regular series. And, yeah, it's just... I, I'm always looking for feedback on that, that sort of stuff and what... Oh, God. Yeah, I died. Damn it! That was a good run as well. Um, This character's tricky. This character is tricky. Um, but yeah, I'm always looking for sort of feedback on that. And I feel like I, I don't get a lot of it. it. It's kind of difficult because the people that are watching the episode still aren't really the people that I'm trying to win the favor of. So it's very difficult to ask a question in a video and get a genuine answer back because the, the reason that I'm doing this is to try and make the content more entertaining and bring new people in or old people back but the new people and the old people that used to watch are no longer watching and therefore don't hear the question. So therefore, I get a more biased answer from the people that are still watching and enjoying the content regardless. It's, it's kind of, it's a weird one. It's a weird one. YouTube's always an in, a bit of an internal battle for me um, in, in sort of making sense. I need to remember this gives you flight. I always forget that. Um, kind of a, a, an internal struggle of just what to do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I always, I always find that a, tr a tricky thing to, to manage for myself. And I'm sure, like, me talking about essentially what is YouTube politics, in a way, um, <laughs> is is not the most entertaining of content anyways. Um, but it, it's still, it's something that I've got to constantly be considering. Because I can't, at the end of the day, I can't just keep playing one game forever and it'll always get great views. It's going to fluctuate and there's going to be times where I need to bring in other games to substitute and I need to broaden my horizons and broaden the horizons of my viewers as well into new games and stuff so it's just I don't know it's it's hard to really describe what I'm what I'm talking about and articulate it in a way that fully makes sense but we'll get there one day like I just one thing that I, I'm like kind of bummed about <laughs> is that I never did a Isaac series on my channel bef like before having played Isaac I'd, I already knew Isaac fairly well when I started playing it on YouTube. And because I'd been watching um, Dark Viper play without knowing the game, honestly, watching someone that's never played the game before uh, is so entertaining. And I, I wish I could provide that entertainment. Um, and I just can't. 
and it's it's just kind of sad. Which is what what makes me like maybe want to play. Dude, that was kind of truly. It's what makes me kind of want to like play a new rogue like that that would be reasonably popular on the channel because then it's exploring something from nothing and having no knowledge of it again. And I, yeah, I think that'd be fun. Dead Tooth. I think I'm just going to bomb this. And just see what we get. I don't think this does much for us, does it? Let me just see. Mm, doesn't look like it's going to do anything for us, really. We'll see if it triggers on, um, on us hitting enemies with our ghosties, but... I'm thinking it won't. We shall find out very shortly, though. Okay, no, it does It does trigger. Does it trigger from my body, though? Unfortunately, it triggers from my body, which isn't ideal. But it's not terrible. The creep's kind of useful, I guess. Where's the other? There it is. Oh, dude. Unfortunately, the balls are, like, the worst on this guy, because my, um, my ghost is just going straight for the balls rather than for him, which is just not great at all. Good, good, good. Growth hormones is very nice. I like it. Let's go alt path here. Why not? Why the heck not? Yeah, and it's just, try it's just trying to find that nice balance between... Keeping the familiar content that people know and love, and then diversifying and doing something different. And also trying to keep Isaac fresh. I mean, like I said, the new save file is a really interesting thing, really. Because in one way, it's added a bunch of new freshness to the series, because I now have more purpose in what I'm doing. There's more re like, I I'm actually going for unlocks. But on the other sense, it actually takes away some of that freshness, because I'm able to play less characters and see less items. So it's kind of... Some of one way, some of the other. I feel like the idea of a new save file um, is is sort of really good initially and kind of falls off later on. And I'm just hoping that it hasn't fallen off too much for you guys. But please do genuinely let me know if, if you'd rather me stick on with the new save file or move back to my 100% save file uh, to, so that we see more items. Because... I am genuinely, unfortunately, Betrayal's not great there. I am genuinely interested because if people want to see more characters and want to, me to be able to focus less on unlocks and just go for like win streaks and stuff, then we can try doing that. Um, I have no problem with that. And then if if um, if there's some other ideas people have of some, some other things we can do, then I'm, I'm also open to that as well. Like I said, Isaac... It's been around for a long time. I've been doing it on my channel for a very long time at this point. I mean, I've been doing it daily for getting on for two years at this point. It's about a year and six months, a year and seven months, something like that at this point. Um, so it's 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 been a long form thing for me. And if there's any ways that people want it to be spiced up, I'm I'm super super open to hearing those ideas and like implementing them, bringing them on board to try something a little bit more unique and different. Very interesting idea. See, this is just... I just love this machine. Unfortunately, we can't use it, but that is just the coolest of ideas, right? Oh, God, this is not a great room. I mean, notably, the, the game is lagging like crazy because of all the water spouts. But also, that enemy starting in this room is kind of, uh, kind of scary, too. Let's pop this. Just to get more uh, cracks up here. And hopefully, we get a tears up here. I'm really hoping for that. I like my mini Isaac doing his work as well. He's getting shit done. Okay, we're good to go here. He is deaded. Did not get a tier, though. This will probably be a damage down, I think. Yeah, but it'll be a damage up later, so... Speed down isn't great. I'll right, just keep it going. I don't want devil deal here. I don't want no devil. Do, 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 do. Right. Keep this train a moving. Keep this train a going. Oh, what the hell? Those enemies got betrayed. I don't know how. Did betrayal change? 
I don't really know what happened there. Oh, this dick going inside fires. I don't like that. Okay, we got him. That guy's a pain in the ass, honestly. Keep ghosties about. So what's going on with the betrayal thing? Did betrayal get, like, reworked or something? I just never heard about it. There's some weird betrayal symbols coming above enemies' heads that I'm not understanding. Um... That's probably pretty good for us. I'll try and afford it, um, if I can. I might bomb a donation machine if I need to. Can also use a pill there for three cent. Ooh, we got a giant bucket. Damn it, kind of sad that I accidentally used a bomb back there now. Wish I hadn't. Okay, we'll see if we can get more bombs to uh, to crack that bad boy open. Intriguing. Still just... Because I always thought betrayal was when you got hit, it charmed enemies in the room, right? I thought that's what it was. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely misremembering how it works. Oh, dude, this is awful. Thank God they're dead. Diplopia, um... Hmm. Now the question is, if I Diplopia, will it Diplopia them in this box or outside of it? I'm still gonna just just take this. Uh, I guess Continuum, maybe? Oh, I kinda wish I'd have taken the Sigil of Knowledge. Damn it. I, I'm just interested to see if Continuum does anything for us. It seems like it could be something that potentially has synergy potential, but I, I really don't know. Play kind of cautious here for the electric buddies. Good, good. We got an extra key there. Sadly, no bombs. Ooh, although. Although, although, although. Give me that key. There's a bomb in this room, apparently. Is it behind rocks, though? It probably is, isn't it? Damn it. I need flight. Okay, I can, I can go and get flight. One, one second. Let me just check my shop real quick. I do have a bomb in here and it is cheap. I'm going to buy that bomb. Um, and then... I'm going to come over here. Bomb this. Two more bombs I think we need. Sadly, it just gave me money thus far. I was hoping it maybe give me some other stuff alongside, but... Sadly not. Right, we go... Oop, touch this bad boy. Dun, 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 dun. That is quite a cracked bucket right there. Which sounds slightly strange to say. There you go. Right. Move on forward. Dun, ba -dun, doo -doo -doo -dun. The leech. Honestly, hell yes, the leech. I love the leech. Uh, then do we crack open some of these... Uh, golden chests and see what we get. I think we do, you know. Pretty good. It also gives us some bombs. It's a reflected bomb, which I'm not sure if that'll kill me or not. I don't think it will, but I'm, I'm, I'm sort of scared to try. We also got uh, a token there, which I wouldn't have expected. Um, is there anything particular on this floor that we could get out of a, a token here? I don't think there is. I think we just go for the, uh, the soul heart and then token. Yeah, get the, get an extra soul heart. Um, quickly go back this way. I realise I'm fucking around a little bit on this floor, but... I don't mind. As long as you don't mind, I don't mind either. I want that B item before we go through. Honestly, I am a little bit apprehensive about how well this is going to go, trying to get the, the, the knife piece. Just because I think... Um, I think surviving without Holy Mantle here is going to be kind of horrible. Um, but I'm willing to give it a go. Just because we got to move around a lot. Like, it's not as simple as just kill the enemies anymore. And we can't just, like, hover out over the top of stuff to keep ourselves safe. I 
I'm curious to see if I spawn any bees at all. So far, no, which is a little bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping I would. Um, yeah, rooms like this are real, real bad for us. At least we've got leech, actually. I didn't really think about how positive the leech would be here. Good. Not too much extra here for us. Oh, god damn it. This is real bad. Thank goodness. That, that room very much scared me. <laughs> that was a big uh, no, no room right there. Holy. Right. We are good to go back to where we came from. Little bit scary. Little bit saucy. I will now take this. Um, but we have prevailed. We need two bombs for our boss room here, which we have ready and raring to go. But yeah, we haven't like used like the character randomizer in a really long time either. Like we have, we have this like this here, this cool character randomizer that I just had no reason to use at the minute because we don't need to randomize characters. And I kind of like that. And maybe we could build in some more challenges. Maybe, do you know what could be interesting? And it, it, it's really up to you guys. Uh, this isn't an idea that you have to stick with or anything. But maybe we could do, like... We can go back to, like, the 100% save file for a bit. But then, like, add sort of modifiers to runs. To make them to make them harder. Um, and we have, like, a set of modifiers that we randomize between. Um, and um, we have to sort of stick with them. So, like, they don't have to be super influential. Um, but it can be, like, oh, this run you can't go to the shop. Or... Um, this run you start with this item or, or stuff like that and maybe you can add some like random modifiers to like make it a little more interesting uh, how does that sort of thing sound kind of like adding kind of challenges to runs because I always like doing that in games like in um, in Warzone and, and PUBG and things like that I always used to like create modifiers for myself to play around with where I'd be like oh in this in this run you have to get this many kills with a pistol or in this run you can only loot the inside of houses stuff like that uh, what does this say? Malformed Penny? I didn't actually read it. 25% um, chance gives a, mi a mini Isaac. Okay, nice. I like that. Um, and I think that's also really fun. And I think it'd be especially fun if you guys came up with the modifiers. If you guys gave me, like, a list of, of various modifiers. I don't want them to be, like, stupid. Like, oh, in this run, um, you can't shoot. Or in this run, um, you have to, I don't know go to every uh, going to every room isn't so bad actually that's not a terrible one but i don't want it to be just stupid ones that that don't add anything fun or any particular or, or like the add a challenge that's just a bit too much like oh you can't have keys this run that would just be just dumb uh, or you can't pick up money this run otherwise you fail sort of thing um it needs to be stuff that i can do sort of alongside other stuff um alongside like a regular run but i think that could be interesting i don't know i don't i don't want to flip flop on the on the new save file idea straight off the bat and just say hey we're done with the new save file now i still want to get your guys' feedback on that but if you guys want to see something different then i think that could be a really fun idea um to to sort of up the challenge factor of it all um and see what sort of stuff we can get out of that and then we can like randomize the character using this and then randomize the challenge as well i'd have to see if i can edit that mod uh the randomizer to see if i can add in like custom challenges i can always speak to the developer although i haven't spoken to them in quite some time so it might be a little tricky it's always possible Close. Okay, things are going reasonably well so far. Oh, goddamn. These skulls are really good. I like them. I like them a lot. And we got a mini Isaac there after that penny as well. I like that. And there could even be some silly challenges where it's like you have to play with this mod on. And it could be just like a, a silly little mod or a mod that makes the game harder or something. I don't know. I think that could be a lot of fun. I might come up with some challenge modifiers for that idea 
after this video. In fact, I suppose I could just come up with them in the video, but I kind of need to write them down or remember them. And I know that once I've uploaded this video, everything that I said in it will completely disappear from my mind. Um, so that might not work. <laughs> the topics of conversation that I talk about in my videos are very rarely retained. Most of the time when you guys reply to like question of the day, I'll be like reading the comments of like a video from like four days ago and I'll be like, what on the, f what in the living fuck did I ask to get these responses? What is going on right now? I'll be so confused. It's so funny. But yeah, I, I really like that idea to be honest. Because it doesn't mean that we ha that we just end the new save file completely. It just means we can put it on pause for a little while or do something else sort of thing. We can just sort of mix it up. I want to try and find ways to, to, to engage more with you guys and bring new people in slash old people back. I One of the trickiest things though, I will say, one of the trickiest things about doing a new series is trying to think about how to make a new thumbnail that's like good as like engaging i like the thumbnails as they are right now i think um i think the thumbnails as they are as they are right now are, are, are pretty damn pretty damn good they're pretty simple but they're pretty to the point it just shows you who i'm playing and shows you some of the core items that i got in the run and that's a good way to bring people in but maybe there's a better way of doing it maybe there's a, a, a better style it's, it's, it's always a tricky thing about starting something new is how do I, especially a new isaac thing it's like how do i sort of make a thumbnail that's like appealing and doesn't doesn't derive too much from my original style sort of thing uh, i was gonna play that but honestly i'll wait for now endless nameless right I'm coming up with this whole sort of idea in my head without knowing if anyone even cares about it yet. I'm just making stuff up, really. Haven't had the need to uh, to use our thingy at all yet, you know. Our uh, liberation to get ghost bombs. Just haven't had the need. Normally, I've, I'll have created quite a few ghost bombs by now and tried to get, like, death certificate and stuff, but... Not death certificate, um, birthright, sorry. But this run's been going pretty well so far. You watch this be prove me wrong right now. <laughs> there you go. First time for everything, I suppose. Give me some of those ghosty bombs. Yeah, I'm sorry, but reverse of the tower. Just not something I feel is necessary for us right now. Oh, my leechy boy. My leechy fella. Holy hell. A lot happened there. Oh, come on. Very, very annoying enemy for us. Might as well grab these. But yeah, it's also just interesting, like, watching Dark Viper to see him, like, do everything and go after everything. I, I, I play in such a methodical way now. That, like, as in, like, I have my own methods that, like, I just leave so much behind. I just, I just don't grab, like, hardly anything on my runs anymore. Uh, I just grab what I need and kind of go. And he's, like, basically full clearing every floor, thinking of every possible thing to get every possible advantage so that you can try and get a win. And it's just, it's just interesting to see, like, how, how I used to play sort of thing. Let's just do some more donating, shall we? Oh, nice, a full donate. That's, that's unlikely, but happy to see it. Happy to see it. I did unfortunately lose a rotten heart there. Not ideal. I got some healing there, though, after that room for some reason. I think Leech maybe got me some. Was that you, Leech? Did you do that? Did you do that, my Leechy buddy? I think you did. Like that key there. I definitely should have grabbed that key, but eh. <laughs> you watch later on, I'll come to regret that decision, but it's done, it's done. I'm going to take flight here because this guy can uh, add spikes to the room halfway through his health bar, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I lost my flight already. I think I walked into one of those little football helmet dudes. This is actually a really, really bad uh, 
room layout for, for this. Really hard for me to get to my... Uh... Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I forget how hard this fight is. Fuck me, I took so much damage there. Gosh darn it. Needed that heart. Right. Little bit unlucky on my behalf there, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Right, we keep moving on there. Yeah, I also do want to, like, try and bring in some more collaborative stuff when I can. Obviously, I, I really enjoy doing my videos with Never Named, although, unfortunately, being able to do those is not as plausible as I would like it to be. Um, I, uh, really, Rock's reformed right in front of me. I'm not, I'm not spending another bomb on you. Um, just because of the time zones, he's in New Zealand, I'm in the UK, time zones are very, very difficult, and then I obviously have a, a job as well, which makes things difficult too. It's just kind of, scheduling things is kind of a nightmare for us. Um, so we, we do what we can, but it's honestly not often that we get to record together, um, unless it's like proper planned ahead of time. We don't honestly do that too often. Which we should do that more often. Um, but yeah, then I, I just want to do more videos with other people as well. I've, I've still got some plans to do some videos with Alexa at some point. But um, he's got his own things going on at the minute. Like, he's got a really, really busy work schedule. Along with the fact that his channel is fucking booming right now. Um, he's doing really, really, really well right now with Brutal Orchestra and a few other things on his channel. And there ain't no way that I'm going to stop my man on a streak like that. Like... If he's if what he's doing is working, I'm oh for God's sake, I'm just gonna let him continue on because goddamn, it's going so well for him. I don't want to derail with a random Enter the Gungeon video. We were meant to do an Enter the Gungeon video, but goddamn, scheduling just became a nightmare for us, um, and it's kind of been delayed. Not inevitably, it, it, it will it will happen at some point. We just don't really know when. <laughs> It's just one of those things, isn't it? Righty her then. What what sort of items am I hoping for here? I just want more like interesting tier effects that can sort of work alongside what we've already got going on. More more tiers up would be good as well. I don't know what, really what hit me there. This room's kind of a pain in the ass. Let's let's activate liberation here because it's getting annoying. Where's my? Oh, dude, the black tar covers my uh, my thingies. So there could be ones over here that I'm not even seeing yet. There's like multiple of them over here that I'm just completely missing. Dude, can you just like pop up for like? A little bit longer so I can actually kill you for once. Thank you. That was a very frustrating room. What you got here for us? Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I'll take that. It gives me plus one familiar and um, spawn with take damage for the room. You got Willow. Hey, I like Willow. What the hell? Where'd this enemy come from? Ow! Where are all these enemies coming from? What the hell is this? Excuse me? Where did all these guys come from? I am perplexed by this. Okay. Making the rounds. It's all going okay. Little dudes. Take you out, maybe. Okay. Good old skull fellas. I, I, yeah, these these skulls that we're firing are really, really cool. I really like the, the fact that they've got all these, like, different effects. Some of them are really useful. Some of them are a bit just okay, but, like, considering there's some really good ones mixed in there, I don't mind. Also, I just accidentally picked up another Turk in there. Okay, holy shit. Willows are doing a really good job as well. What a great familiar to randomly get. Very, very happy with that. Now, that's not in a good spot at all, is it? I need liberation to get over there, really. Ah, you bastard. 
Oh no, it should be good. We're good, we're good. It's taking way too much damage, but it's not really mattered all that much. We're able to get the health back to keep ourselves afloat here. Boom, bow. And sculpting player. On use, uh, make a copy of the closest non-active item. If none are available, um, then the item is not used. Item regenerates each floor. Make a copy of the closest non-active item. Kind of interesting. Does it make a permanent copy? Or is it just for one floor? I'm guessing it's just for one floor, right? Like it said. I'm not sure if that means I get one item per floor. I don't know. We're going to have to find out, aren't we? Maybe I'll just do it with a negative and see what happens. Not really had a chance to use this item before, and I, I like the idea of it. Okay, this is certainly a little tricky here, but we're getting there. We're almost dead, actually. Holy hell. Problem is, our segments aren't out long enough for us to deal good damage. Right, so. First of all, let's, let's go in here first. That is not great for us, to be honest. Okay, let's go out here. Let's go... Boom. It gave us the negative. Okay. And then we can't use it again, right? Yeah, we can't use it again. And I'll actually take the negative here. I was going to go to the mines, wasn't I? I completely forgot about that. It's fine. Dude, this item's sick. It, it let me keep it. Okay, this item's very, very, very good. Wow. I, I don't know how many times I've passed this item up, but this is ludicrously good. Give me double lodestone. I don't know if lodestone's any good for us, but I hope it is. There's also a lump of coal here as well. I even see that. Holy shit, this is a very, very, very strong shop item. I never realized how good this thing was before. Wow. I have I have been shown the light here. I really have. I saw the sign. Open up my eyes. I saw the sign. This guy's a pain in the ass. That guy was not easy. Still didn't get our tears up, though. Still would really rather have some tears up if we'd get it. I was happy to see that we got a um, lump of coal and um, lodestone from stone chests there, though. It's pretty uh, uncommon, but they are stone-based items, so from a stone chest, it makes sense. It's part of one of the mods that I use. It was not a mod made by me, but one that was inspired by a mod made by me. Or at least designed by me. I'm not, I didn't code it. Okay, I'm just kind of trying to beeline now. Yeah, because like, that, that that challenge idea I had before about like having one challenge where it's clear every room, that would make the wound like significantly harder in the cathedral and stuff. I kind of like the idea. Yeah, and we could have like them be, like different ones be chance based as well. I really like the idea behind this. I've kind of got an idea of how best to do it. Basically, what I'm thinking is if I make a duplicate copy of this and I add in I, I, I remove all the vanilla characters and I add in modded characters in quotations that are actually just challenge modifiers and it'll just select one of those modifiers as a character, so to say. But I think you can only have like... T well, I need to have a look, actually. Let's open this up. I don't know if you can see this when I open this up. Properties, is it? No. How the hell do I open this again? It's been a while. Just interact, isn't it? 
Damn it, why am I doing this now? How the hell do I do this again? Interact, there you go. Um, options, yeah, I think you guys can see the options there, right? Yeah, so if we look at the options here, basically you can like select all the characters and what their weight is, um, and then you can select the objectives. It does have extra challenges, like these ones look, but um, to be honest, a lot of them I don't really like. Um, and also you can't make custom ones, like you can't add them. So what I was thinking is you could go into like the uh, custom characters here, um, show characters, and there's up to 10 allowed, I think. Oh no, it's up to 20. Okay, so we could have 20 objectives. That's not too bad. Um, 20 is not a, a terrible number. I don't know if that'd be enough. Yeah, maybe that would work. I don't know. Maybe that would work. I'm, I'm intrigued by the idea. I certainly am intrigued by the idea. Right. Try and move through all of this rigmarole. A lot of our damage has just been done by, like, Affamilias right now. Although, i I got to say, I'm taking way more damage than I should be. Goddamn. Kind of wish I could, Empty Vessel would have taken Red Hearts rather than Soul Hearts from me. I don't know why it was asking for only Soul Hearts when I had Red Hearts available. It's kind of weird. Oh, God, this is a fucking nightmare room, this is. Okay, okay. Use this again. The only thing with Liberation that I really don't like is the amount of time it takes to start going again. You use it and you've got to like sit around for like five or six seconds before you can do anything. Ow. I'll be leaving now, thank you. Fortunately, a little bit of the case of the wrong ways, sadly. Yeah, I'm gonna spend some time after this uh, video and set some of this stuff up, just, the, just for the potential of the idea coming to fruition, see what you guys think of it, and uh, maybe do something along the lines of that, I don't know. It could be fun. So I'm always looking for ways to innovate. I can never say that word. Innovate. Innovate, that's the one. Not innovate. Innovate. And do something different. I know it's not in it's completely brand new of an idea, but it's a new idea to my channel at least. This enemy is just such a pain. This is honestly a room that I can just bomb out of, and I'm going to. As is this, to be honest. God damn, there's some really horrible rooms to this floor right now. For, for, like, not normally, but rooms where I, like, can't shoot. Like, all that creep is just not, not in my wheelhouse right now. I don't want to deal with that. Ow, fuck's sake. The womb is really difficult as this character, isn't it? Honestly, this is gonna be tricky. Normally this fight, you really don't have to move much and it's a benefit to you that you don't. At least the, um, the crack destroy shots. I very much like that. You could not spawn enemies though, that'd be real nice. Not a big fan of that. Okay, it's going okay so far, surprisingly. I finally got hit. Okay, the brimstone, oh lord. Okay, that went surprisingly well. We could try Hush, I guess. Hush seems like a really, really, really horrible idea, though. I'm, I'm just going to do it, why not? If we die, we die. It's, it's, it's all a bit of fun and games, isn't it? Pretty 
good. Neither of those want to duplicate, really. God, God damn it. Nothing here worth duplicating, sadly. I will... I was going to say I will buy that, but I don't, think I, I don't even know if I can afford it. Damn it, it's not what I wanted. I guess I could just duplicate this to get it. Yeah. Okay. Not great. These items here, not great. We'll see the... Just a speed down pill, how could you? Right, health isn't great, but let's just give this a go. Suppose I could use butt bombs here a little bit. Oh god, I have to move so far. Okay, butt bombs is actually really good with ghost bombs, so not a bad shout. Honestly, this first phase is taking a lot longer than I would have hoped already, so... Okay. Not terrible thus far. Let's pop this now. It's just annoying how many tear effects just kind of aren't working though. Oh dude. That skull dude. You see that skull uh, guy that's stuck on him? It's just doing constant knockback damage. You can hear it. I mean that's great. As long as he doesn't move. Bombs here are doing a good job as well. Probably we took that. Yeah, this skull is doing work right now. Ah, for fuck's sake, this is where things get tricky. Because we kind of have to keep moving here. Yeah, finally got hit. Damn it! Apparently, liberation was causing that bug with the, the, the helmet, dude. Yeah, I don't have the speed to get out of the way of this thing. Okay, though. Things are not going terribly. We have four hits left because of that item we got. The film roll thing. Dude, why with this? Unlocked memories. Okay, slightly bit risky, but we got through it. We certainly got through it, and I like that. Second, there you go. Right, let's keep it moving. Okay, we've only got two hearts. Do remember though, we're only going to be taking half heart damage here. We don't have to worry too much. We want to be using butt bombs as much as we possibly can, to be honest, because they are valuable. We've just got to be careful we don't hurt ourselves with them. Oh, there's a soul heart in there. We should definitely go grab that. Is this guy invisible? What's, what's, go what's going on here? Why was that guy invisible for a hot second? Is this a new champion type I'm not knowing about? Kinda scary. Thank you. Don't think we're gonna have anything to use our space power on here. We can see what the devil deals in the next floor though, that's nice. Can't believe how good this act is. I thought it worked literally one, like, you, you copied it for the floor and then you lost it at the end of the floor. That's how I thought it worked. I didn't know it was permanent. The fact that it's permanent makes it like, an infinitely better item than I thought it was. Ow. I'm not sure where the last enemy is in this room. Oh, it's you, I see.
Don't worry about it. That's going down in a jiffy. Oh god, spiders. God damn it, he lobbed them right on top of me. There's not much I could do there. Ah, bollocks, we got this guy. So I might get a blackout of it. Or a devil deal item that we can copy. It's not all bad. This is a boss that's pretty good to keep moving on as well, so that's good at least. It's kind of the aim of this character, so... He's, good. He's pretty weak, to be honest, health-wise. And of course we got the black heart rather than the item. Kind of hoping for the item, really, but there you go. Oh god, that was very close. Good. People that dislike number two, they're goddamn fools. Number two is so easy to, like, use effectively. There is definitely risks to it, um, but, like, if you know the timings well and you know that if you hold fire, then, like, if I keep holding fire now, I'll never poop again. I've got to let go and then start holding it again to fire another one. If you know that, you can control whenever you poop, it, basically. It makes it very, very easy to, uh, manipulate. Look at this army going on here. I love it. Right. Okay. I might get hit a little bit here on the stone things that come down. We'll see. Yeah. Nice, another unlock, baby. Right, jump on down. And we can copy one of these. Probably a theme, honestly. Yep, copy a theme. Give me that bad boy. Um. And we're good to go. Okay. Enemy's getting wrecked up. Hopefully we can get hearts here and chests. Oh, nice. We hit landed a bomb on him. Them guys have no resistances to bombs. They just die super quick to him. Dude, the guys underground are, like, fucking me off so hard. Just get out from under the ground, dude. Fuck's sake. Thank you. God. Ha ha ha. These poops stop me from firing. I don't need to fire. You fool. That was your biggest error. There we go. A theme, baby. Hell yes. Also, Thames seems to be able to trigger some of our other tier effects, which I quite like. You good? The room over? No? What's, what's going on here? Oh, it's you. It's just like diving your face into every poop known to man. I'd like you to stop that, sir. That was apparently an enemy that uh, we had erased because of that trinket. Ow. Bad hit before the boss there. We do have a heart back here though. Grab that real quick. Two hearts to do the boss. I reckon there's a chance. The lammy, lammy, lammy. Ow, I just hit myself with my own bomb. That is very bad. That was actually a placed bomb, not a butt bomb as well. I'm trying to plant bombs fucking everywhere to get ghost bombs going. Worked out quite well. Beautiful stuff. Amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this run. And let me know what you think of that idea. And yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.